There are too few of us. There are too many men up there with all their cop cars and everything. That's what they're always telling you. Never let your enemy tell you how, how, uh, how many of you there are. Never let the man that you're against form your opinions. This is the trick that's played on everyone who's oppressed. The first thing, an occupation, uh, when you have a revolution in the country, the first thing you take over is the radio. And then you start telling the people that everybody, the war is over. And, <laughs> and, and, and so all of them surrender. No, they believe that thing right there. And once they take that over, they start telling you uh, where you are and where they are, and you fall right in line. It's plain thought control. The majority of the American people aren't segregationists that the majority of the American people aren't imperialists, but the government is, the structure is, the power faction is. So what, how, how then do all the majority go along with it? Because those who sit in power over the television, over the radio, and over the press is constantly telling those who are the masses how free they are <laughs> and, how, and how, how this they are and how that they are. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and the shape of your lips? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate, you should ask yourself who taught you to hate being what God gave you. The, con the controlled press, the white press, inflames the white public against Negroes. It, the police are able to use it to paint the Negro community as a criminal element. The police are able to use the press to make the white public think that 90% or 99% of the Negroes in the Negro community are criminals. And once the white public is convinced that most of the Negro community is a criminal element, then this automatically paves the way for the police to move into the Negro community exercising Gestapo tactics stopping any black man who is in the, on, on the sidewalk, whether he is guilty or whether he is innocent, whether he is well-dressed or whether he is poorly dressed, whether he is educated or whether he is dumb, whether he's a Christian or whether he's a Muslim, as long as he is black and a member of the Negro community, the white public thinks that the white policeman is justified in going in there and trampling on that man's civil rights and on that man's human rights. Once the police have convinced the white public that the so-called Negro community is a criminal element, they can go in and question, brutalize, murder unarmed, innocent Negroes, and the white public is gullible enough to back them up. This makes the Negro community a police state. This makes the Negro neighborhood a police state. It's the, it's the most heavily patrolled. It has more police in it than any other neighborhood, yet it has more crime in it than any other neighborhood. How can you have more cops and more crime? Why? It shows you that the cops must be in cahoots with the criminals. legislation, in my opinion, it takes education. The, the whites have to be re-educated uh, so that the racism that they have in their heart can be eliminated and, the, and our people have to be re-educated uh, so that we will know how to do something for ourselves instead of waiting for others to do it for us all the time. Well, how will that re-education be brought about? Uh, well, just as uh, uh, in, the, in World War II, this country could use its uh, news media to propagandize and make, our, make the whole American public uh, love the love the Germans and the Japanese, rather love the Russians and the Chinese and hate the Germans and the Japanese. And then after the war, they changed it and made the American public love the uh, the Germans and love the Japanese, hate the Russians and hate the Chinese.
which shows that they can make the American public love whom they will and hate whom they will. And that same process can be used to re-educate the American public and show white people how to love black people and show black people how to do something to stand on our own feet and solve our own problems.